Okay guys, I just want to make this video for anybody that's confused on how to get the Tier 3 uh, 7th Legionnaire plate set, which specifically, it's the uh, cool one with the, the lion shoulders, right? I, I, I believe this is the full set for Tier 3. Uh, there might be a couple uh, Tier 2 pieces on this, uh, this dressing room. But uh, if you're like me and you're trying to figure out how do you unlock this tier three set for the seventh legionnaire in BFA, it is, uh, and this is not just play, this is any tier three for any character. So I'm gonna show you what it's like when you cannot get the quest uh, to get the chest that allows you to get a, a piece of tier three every week or every three weeks. So <clears throat> this character does not have access. You'll see that you need to come over here to the boat, right? right here so I have not done the uh, the Zandalari war campaign so what you need to do is you have to be level 50 you need to do the introductory quest line so you'll you'll go to Zoldazar complete it talk to the person and take the boat back here then you'll do the same thing for Nazmir and the same thing for Voldun once you do those three things, the might of the Alliance, if you're level 50 or 60, if this is a, an older tune you got, you haven't done this, you can come over here and see if you can pick up this quest to get the Heart of Azeroth, because it doesn't just pop up automatically anymore. So this person right here, the Earthen Guardian, which is over here, you can talk to him, get the quest for Magni. Uh, I believe that's the only way to get the Heart of Azeroth now. Maybe it'll still pop up if you're lucky. Uh, but for me, it didn't on the tune that I am working on. So I'll show you my tune that I can do it on as well. So <clears throat> you need to be level 50 at least. And I believe you also need to have friendly with the Proudmoor, Storm's Wake, and the Order of Embers, I believe. Uh, and so friendly, that's, that's pretty easy. It's just 3,000. Uh, if you just do the main quests to the end, you'll you'll get it. So now you'll see, you may not have anybody here sitting at the back of this boat. So the key, you can come look, you click on the table, well, guess what? You can do the battle for Stromgard, but just joining this battle will not get you this equipment cache. So this is kind of a lie. You cannot get the equipment cache that has the tier three piece until you get a quest from Ral Ralston Karn. Well he will have a quest uh, once a week or every three weeks, however often that siege is happening, you'll have a quest for normal and heroic. And I'll show you that in a second. Go with honor, friend. Okay, so I'm back on my tune, my new main for uh, Dragonflight, actually. Um, and I have access to the quest line that I'll be showing you here in a second. So I, I got lucky. I got the tier three shoulders with the lions on my first try. So I'm super stoked about that. So to break it down real quick, again, you need to be level 50 minimum. You need to have friendly with Proudmore, Storm's Wake, and I, an Order of Embers. Yeah, I'm honored with them. So these three you have to be at least friendly. Level 50, then what you can do, you come over here at 50, you can talk to the Earth and Guardian, get the Heart of Azeroth quest, go through that if you haven't done it already. Uh, if you haven't, it's kind of long and boring. But after that, what you can do is you can come down here and after you've gotten the heart of Azeroth, after you've been friendly, and after you talk to Wormbrain, Worm, Wormbrain, Wormbane, <clears throat> what you'll do is you'll do the three introductory uh, warfront quest lines where you have to take this boat and speak to the captain and uh, go do a bunch of stuff over there. After that, <clears throat> he should have a quest line that's uh, Coltiris United or Uniting Coltirans and after you pick that up and accept it it should unlock this back here where you can now come to this guy and you'll have warfront the battle for stromgard so this is what you need to get the actual cash at the end of the warfront so there's a normal and there's a heroic the heroic requires a 10 man and you have to be in a raid prior to queuing whereas normal you can just uh come down here and you can click join battle right so he says you must be in a raid group so it's probably going to be a lot harder, obviously, as well. So I'm, I don't even think I'm going to grind for it. But <clears throat> it only takes maybe as a DPS five minutes, maybe ten to queue into normal. 
So what you'll do is, after you've done the Uniting Colteris and you're you're ready, you'll see this guy pop up back here where you can start the war fronts, and he's going to make you do a couple little quests where you'll come over and talk to Yvera. She'll take you to the Arathi Highlands. You'll <clears throat> excuse me. You'll take you'll talk to her and go to the Arathi Highlands, and you'll have to go fly around and, and see a couple things. And basically, then you'll come back, and then you can talk to this guy, and these quests will appear. So I believe it's once a week, potentially only once every three weeks. I'm not sure what the rotation is like, um, but I know that I got lucky at least, and the siege, the siege is what you need for Battle of Stromgard. And I got the quest. I did it. It's probably going to take you at least 40 minutes or so. I've never done anything like it before, so it was really annoying. I had two people quit because it wasn't going fast enough for him. But now I've done it twice um, because I actually did it without the quest and got screwed and got tier two instead of tier three because I didn't know you needed the quest. Um, so it's it's not too bad. I might make a video if uh, you know enough people see this and they want to see how to do it quickly. That's actually not too bad. It's just kind of confusing if you've never done anything like it before. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I hope this video can help some people out because I spent hours looking on how to specifically farm the uh, these tier three shoulders and in turn the rest of the tier three set because it looks so much cooler than the other ones. Um, so yeah, again, hopefully this helps, you know, 